My question is to the Minister for Veterans Affairs. What support is the Albanese Labor government providing to veterans who are suffering homelessness? And what are the obstacles to this support being provided? Give a call to the Minister for Veterans Affairs and Minister for Defence Personnel. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the member for Solomon for this important question. And of course, the member for Solomon, as a veteran himself, is very committed to the cause of supporting our veterans, and I enjoy working closely with him in supporting the veterans in his community as around the country. And that's all part of how the Albanese government is committed to delivering a better future for our veterans and families. And of course, just as Australians across the country are confronted by difficulty accessing housing and cost of living pressure, that is absolutely affecting our veteran community as well. And that's why, as part of the budget last year, we expanded the Defence Home Ownership Assistance Scheme with a $46.2 million investment to allow our serving personnel to get access to housing assistance sooner and remove the cap for those that have left service to be able to access this scheme to help them as well. Because we know we have an obligation to support our veterans. We have an obligation to those that have put on our uniform to serve Australia, put themselves in harm's way to make sure that they are looked after. And too many veterans across this country are experiencing homelessness. Yesterday, the Assistant Minister for Veterans Affairs launched a toolkit outlining factors contributing to veteran homelessness, their service needs and the available referral pathways. There's also specific veterans homelessness services that are sprouting up across the country. And so I say to veterans and families, if you do need support, with your living situation or homelessness, please contact DVA on 1800 838 372 or open arms on 1800 011 046. But more does need to be done. And we're getting on with the job in places like Darwin and the member for Solomon's electorate with funding for the Scott Palmer Centre. But crucially, to be able to expand this service provision for our veterans is our $10 billion Housing Australia Future Fund, which will support veterans, it will support our First Nations communities, it will support victims of family and domestic violence. As part of that $10 billion fund commitment is a $30 million commitment to support veterans experiencing homelessness, to support veterans that are at risk of homelessness, and not just with housing itself, but with the wraparound services that our veterans need to support them in getting into secure housing. But what do we see when we're putting forward a package delivered, to, designed to support Order. our veterans Remember that we took Herbert. to the last election, that was widely supported by community housing, by veterans' organisations? What we get is those opposite are opposing it. There's no support from those opposite for our veterans getting into secure housing. We have a situation where housing for veterans, for some Remember reason, for is opposed by those opposite. So I say for those that are sitting opposite, Think very carefully Order. about the message that you are sending to Australians' veterans community when you are opposing a package to support them the when they're experiencing Hume. homelessness.